Light Buddy, Lizzie, where are we unboxing? Yu-Gi-Oh! Where's the box? Um, did not you, in the shot. Did you take him out of the box before we did the unboxing video? Of course. Perfect. Yu-Gi-Oh. What do we know about it? What do you say about it, Lizzie? It's a card game. Yeah, look at all these cards. <laughs> Wee! Oh my god, what a criminally underrated <laughs> aspect of the anime and a criminally underrated aspect of the manga. Dungeon Dice Monsters. If anyone out there had love for Dungeon Dice Monsters, let me know in the comments section. So, I always thought that the, the animes came first, but that's because I was a dumb kid and I didn't know what I was watching when I was watching it. So Yu-Gi-Oh! is an anime that we all remember watching on Cartoon Network and on CW on Saturday mornings, but it was also a manga. In fact, it was primarily, you know, it only ever should have been a manga because the manga <laughs> is significantly better than the anime ever, ever was. The, the guy that made it, what's his name? Go ahead and take a stab at that. Uh, Kazuki Takahashi? Sure. No? Good, good enough for me. <laughs> he, um, I mean, God, this guy made so much money because, let's see, he had the anime, he had the manga, he had the video games, and better yet, he had the card game. So the card game did come from the manga series. Wow, look at, look at original Yugi, not the best artwork in the series. I like it. I'll get that light back in there. <laughs> I gotta say, cool. his grandpa looks creepy there. Where? <laughs> Yeah, Grandpa, he didn't really... He didn't come through well in the first volume, but <laughs> he gets a lot better as the um, volumes go on. And actually, I think after volume one or two, it really starts to get into the art style that everyone knows from the anime. Oh, okay, we can look at volume two and see. We'll prove it right now. But yeah, I mean, look at those. I mean, as, even though I thought of Yu-Gi-Oh! like I think everyone else in the world did because of age and time, the art's pretty iconic. You know, everyone knows what Yu-Gi-Oh! is. At least I think. I mean... I know my parents know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is because I made them buy a relentless amount of cards back in the day. <laughs> we saw these the day at a bookstore. They were selling them for, I think, $4 a book. And we, the, the guy was actually nice enough to give us a 20% off discount since we bought the entire set. Mm, I don't um, know. The art is still pretty much the, <laughs> the same. Actually, oh, hold no. on. Hold, hold this for a second. Get the light closer to the top of the page here. So this is actually one of the huge changes that happens um, in the manga opposed to the anime. Those things right there, you see that thing right there? Oh, okay, that I was like, right why there? are you so zoomed in? <laughs> that box there is actually what they play the cards in. So there, there's no big, like, football-sized, or football field-sized um, field that they play the cards on and the big holograms. The holograms actually all take place in these little boxes. Um, kids, I don't know if you knew this, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually kind of bloody, and it's not <laughs> the way CW and 4Kids... They edited a, a lot of stuff out. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! in the manga is much different. I mean, he's definitely more of a... It, the series isn't about just the it's dual monster baby. cards. It's actually about, like, games. So, like, in the back of a lot of the books, you'll find these random little cutout games. You can tear these pages out, and you can play some games with the last few pages. Oh. I mean, the guy... Like, the, these... Some... The volumes are very cool. Well, of course. No one wants you to have... Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card sticking out of the... Am I using a Yu-Gi-Oh card <laughs> as a bookmark? Maybe. Do you, do you feel like you need to judge me for that? Yes. Super harshly. Whatever. End of video. No, not end of video. <laughs> but yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I would say, actually, if you can get a chance to pick these up, go pick them up. There are Omnibus versions that there's three in ones, but they're... You know, you know how Omnibuses work. They're poor paper quality and you don't get all this awesome Unless artwork. Unless you get the fancy ones. There are no they... fancy ones. Oh, well, yeah. Not for this series. There's just the paper bags. Yeah, because this series didn't take off unlike the cards. Wait, what do you mean the series didn't take off? <laughs> well, oh, hold on. The, no, ma I mean the manga. The manga. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming the manga did really well in Japan, otherwise people wouldn't have made the cards in the first place. <laughs> okay. And there's the final cover of the entire series. And that is the cover we'll leave you on. Yugi vs. Merrick. Things got heated. I am not there yet. I, wow, 20, 24 find. volumes? Jeez. This arc lasts for like a long time. Because I'm on volume 12 and this is arc. This is still being resolved 12 volumes later. Well, that's a lot of different mangas. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. You, you don't have to resolve it all. Get out there and buy in these things. Three arcs. While you still can. And subscribe.